exchanging strikes here. A deliberate striking laden attack. Layla Hirsch could win this thing. Catches the, the leg lariat attempt there by Penelope Ford. Dropped her out oh into the goodness. split and the running knee strike to the face. Layla with the waist lock, just a deadlift German on Penelope Ford. <laughs> We're back in the game now. Oh my God. Uh, Layla Hurst. It's a power game. And Layla suplexes. It's high impact. Double knee strikes, double boots to the chest. Pulls Penelope out, covers here. One, two, no. And you have to imagine Orange Cassidy liking what he's seeing here. I gotta imagine that we could see, be seeing an upset in the making. We could be, I, I agree with that, JR, we could. Well, Penelope Ford is number four ranked. Ooh! Well, that changed everything around. Number four ranked women, woman in the division. And she's had her shot at the title. Too. Oh! The axe kick avoided by Hirsch. And oh, the clubbing clothesline. Of course, our AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida, very interested in the outcome of this match. You just see the different timelines these women are, are performing on, wrestling on, and... Layla! Oh! <laughs> timing out to Kip and What shot. the hell was that all about? She saw an opening, she took it! A little bit of payback from what happened earlier. The butler goes down! Oh! oh. The butler didn't do it this time. Oh. The pump kick to the side of the head. Two, three, and look, look Kip Sabian grabbed Layla's boot! The winner of this match. Penelope Ford. She had her foot on the ropes, didn't she? I'm not so sure what the hell happened. Well, Kip and Penelope just absolutely stole one from Layla Hirsch here. I'm not gonna disagree with that. Charles, 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 get over here. Come here, Charles. People need an update. Get out of the ring. Don't you boo me. Yes, I said get out of the ring. Charles, stand over here. Well, this, this is humiliating. Charles, Charles, I can be very mean to you anytime I want, but I'm not because I'm a nice guy, Charles. I'm a nice guy. But I need to take you places that you've never been before, but for that, you need to let go of the past. I need you to look into the history to see where you can go, Charles. And for that, stand up straight. And for that, I need you to do one thing. I need you to grab this microphone, right, right there in the George Michael wannabe, and tell him that I, Miro, is your best friend now. Huh? Hey, hey, hey. Charles, Charles. Miro is my best friend now. He said with all genuality. And this is, these are the only the humiliations we're seeing. Who, who, who can even imagine what's happening back at Miro's home? It's pretty apparent what they have done. They've broken apart best friends right now. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Well, they've literally, Surely not. literally broken Trent, that torn peck, and Orange Cassidy retreating. Well, I hope not. Imagine Miro's wife using Chuck Taylor as a footstool. 